what's up guys, Benny here and welcome to another Call of Duty Warzone video. Now, one of the hot topics I feel within Warzone is the advantages you gain in crossplay as a PC player versus someone playing on an Xbox or PS4. I for one have started playing Warzone on PC with my Xbox Elite Series 2 controller because it definitely gives me an edge and I'm going to tell you why and then I want you to let me know whether you agree or disagree down in the comments below. So in this video, I'm going to go through the seven unfair advantages PC players gain, especially if they're using a controller. And for PC players, this is probably going to be filled with a load of tips and tricks for you to take advantage of that you may not have already known. Also, 87.4% of you watching this video right now are not subscribed to the channel, so subscribe and you'll become a better Warzone player, I promise. So the first big advantage PC players gain is to do with your monitor. Now, when you go into your settings on Warzone, you get a whole load of options for display from choosing the monitor that you're using to your graphics card. But one of the most important when it comes to performance and gaining an advantage is your screen refresh rate and your frame rate. Having a higher refresh rate allows your screen to refresh more every single second. 240 hertz is 240 frames per second, 120 hertz is 120, and so on. Therefore, allowing you to see more frames and therefore see what's happening in game far quicker and smoother, which is going to help improve your gameplay and make you a better player. For example, as standard, Xbox One and PS4 support 60 hertz. So 60 frames a second. On a PC, you can get up to 240 hertz. They even showcased some 360 hertz monitors earlier this year. But this means that on PC, I can get four times the frames per second than someone playing on a console. So when someone jumps around a corner, I'm going to likely see them that fraction of a second faster than if I was playing on console, which is going to allow me to react quicker and therefore have an instant advantage in a gunfight and be more likely to pick up the kill. Yes, we're talking fractions of a second, but in a game that is so fast paced and every second counts, this is going to make a big difference in the grand scheme of things. Not to mention, how much smoother the game feels when you're playing, which I've found has made it easier to be much more consistent with my aim and movement. But you also want to make sure that you're getting a consistent experience within Warzone. And that is why you want to set a custom frame rate limit to make sure that your gameplay holds the same amount of frames per second so that you're not getting different gameplay experiences at different times. Now, the best way to do this is to turn on the FPS counter in the settings and see what your average FPS is when playing the game. If it's around 180, for example, you'll want to set your custom frame rate limit to 180. That means that Warzone will always play at 180 frames per second, even if your computer at times has the ability to push more frames. But I've always felt that frame consistency is also just as important as the total amount. And if a PC player wanted to push even more frames than they already are, they can even do things like lower their render resolution down to 720p, for example, just so their PC can get as high FPS as possible. And if you've ever watched any sort of competitive play on PC in the past, whether that's on Fortnite or Counter-Strike or anything similar, you'll know that FPS is one of the biggest competitive advantages that you can get in a fast-paced game. Because, as I said, it just allows you to be able to clearly see everything that's happening in-game on your screen to help make you make the best decisions possible. So the first big advantage PC players have is having a higher FPS compared to console players. I personally found going from 60 hertz to 144 hertz, then up to 240 hertz has made a huge impact on my gameplay and has just made me a better player. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. The next big advantage that PC players gain in Warzone over console players is field of view. Now, this is one you'll have likely heard about a lot already as it's been one of the more popular talking points when it comes to crossplay. For those of you that don't know, field of view defines the height and width of your in-game view. This means the higher field of view you have, the more you can see on your screen. Though because of that, things do become smaller on your screen. 
So a PC player who has access to this setting may see an enemy player jump out of a window to their side or making a flanking path that on console they would have otherwise not have seen because it would have been outside their field of view. In other successful FPS battle royales like Apex Legends, every single player, whether they're on console or PC, has access to this feature because even though there are pros and cons to having a wide field of view, every player should have the choice to be able to use it. Yeah, having a wider field of view is likely to put additional strain on your PC or console as it will likely lower frame rate because of that extra information that it's processing. But the competitive advantages you gain are worth it. But in Call of Duty Warzone, there's even a setting that makes the negative not that big of a deal. In the Advanced tab, you also have the option to adjust your aiming down sights field of view, which means you can have a wide field of view whilst running around the game, but when you get into a gunfight and you aim down sights, the field of view goes back to its usual value, meaning your targets once again appear bigger and easier to hit. So on PC, with a wide field of view, you gain the benefit of being able to see everything going on around you. And then when you get into a gunfight, you can snap into ADS and it'll be the same as if you were on console. Though you can also, if you want to, have the setting to affected, which means you also get that wider field of view when aiming down sights. But personally, I'd advise for players just to use independent to make it easier to land your shots in a gunfight. Personally, I think they should make this setting available to everyone, but is definitely an advantage that PC players have right now when it comes to crossplay. Now, this next advantage PC players have in Call of Duty Warzone, I've only just started using and wow, does it make a difference, especially when it comes to darker areas of the map, like inside of buildings or warehouses, and that's Nvidia game filters. So, what you're able to do is open up the GeForce experience whilst in Warzone and add a game filter. Now, you get to set up three profiles which completely transform how your game looks. Now, personally, I use quite a simple filter to help brighten up the map and make it easier to spot enemies. So I've added a brightness and contrast filter, set the exposure to 0%, contrast to 30%, I've then removed highlights by 100%, as well as heavily reducing shadows by 80%, and then I've got gamma set to 30%. Now, just because of this, you can see darker spaces are subtly not so dark. So if an enemy is hiding in a building or a dark corner that I would have otherwise missed, they'll now light up like a Christmas tree. I then have a sharpen filter on as well with that set to 60% as well as ignoring film grain by 100% to make the image as clear as possible so I don't miss any information on screen. There's even settings like removing your HUD or making the game black and white. So much stuff to play around with but those simple settings will help give you a competitive advantage that console players just don't have access to. And it's the point I'm trying to show in this video is all these small little details all add up to give people a competitive advantage, which if we start looking at tournaments where big money is on the line, it could change what you decide to play on. Next on Call of Duty Warzone on PC, you also have a ton of other graphic options which are going to make it easier for your game to perform better. You can lower your text to resolution and filter, drop down the particle quality and bullet impacts and sprays, and disable tessellation, which will help give you more frames per second. But for me, having a lower quality image with less detail makes it easier to spot enemy players, because if they're hiding in a less detailed bush, for example, they're going to be easier to spot than someone that's hiding in an ultra quality, high fidelity bush, if you get what I'm saying. Damn those high quality bushes. But you can even go and make sure that spot and sun shadows are cached into the game's memory so that there's less for your computer to render in on the fly. And console just doesn't have these options. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm the biggest Xbox fan ever and it takes a lot for me to get off my console. I just want to highlight the advantages that PC players gain in a cross-play environment. And that brings us on to our next points that makes PC have an unfair advantage when it comes to Call of Duty Warzone 
and that's power. Now, this is going to be less of an issue towards the end of the year when the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X come out because consoles will have far, far more power than they currently do. But a well-specced PC just has so much more power, which allows you to render the game faster to get important information to land your shots. For example, you're going to render in a player coming back from the Gulag in the sky far sooner than someone on an Xbox or PlayStation, which you never know may help you pick up a kill that you would have otherwise missed out on. But that extra power a PC provides does give you a competitive advantage. Some of you may be going, hold up, hold up, Benny. They're on PC, so they don't get aim assist, which is something, believe it or not, I've heard a lot of people say. Well, if you plug in a controller to your PC, you do in fact get aim assist, and you actually get more aim assist options than you do on console, because it gives you the ability to scale your aim assist with your field of view. So if you use traditional aim assist, you're going to get that slowdown when you aim near your target, where if you'd got a wider field of view, it may be a little a bit harder to get into that aim assist sweet spot. Well, with scale aim assist with field of view, it's not. And that aim assist box is actually larger, which is insane, making it easier for PC players to snap onto targets with a controller with that added bonus of a wider field of view. Now, these points we've gone over are the main advantages that a PC player gains that also decides to use a controller whilst playing Call of Duty Warzone. But I really wanted to open up a discussion on what you think about this, because yes, there is the ability to opt out of crossplay for some players, but I personally love having the ability to play with any of my friends, no matter what platform they're playing on. And with that recent update to Counter Cheaters, where you now have to assign a phone number to your account on PC if you're playing the free version of the game, which I think is a great change by the way, but I just want to know what you think about these advantages and whether you play on a console or PC down in the comments. And if you're new to the channel, do make sure you're subscribed and smash that like button and I'll see you next time.